Okay, so the results have just come in. It's not good. But because of Brexit, we had seven hours of poo released into it just a few days ago. And to know that it's happening everywhere in the UK. I love the sea. Days like today where it's wild, you respect it. We're a coastal country, the sea surrounds us, it's what we are about. Um, you know, it needs to be protected, it should be protected, but it isn't being protected. Being in the sea and its silky touch, even when it's absolutely biting cold, So I'm going to need my, um, my assistant. This is a good, good bottle of test water though. This bottle will go off to our lab and then we'll get the results back. Okay, so the results have just come in. Um, not good. Yeah, as we thought, there's, there's E. coli in the sea. Um, it's not great. Seeing it in black and white is completely affirming. It's terrible. The United Kingdom is surrounded by this beautiful thing, the sea, um, but we're not protecting it. You know, the, we had seven hours of poo released into it just a few days ago. And if that's what our rock pools and the chalk reef is like, that's what, they're gonna, that's what they're having to live through. It would be like walking through a kind of a lovely forest glade with tampons and sanitary towels and wet wipes hanging from the branches and sort of wafting past your face. It, it, it's, it's unpleasant. It's, dangerous, it's not acceptable. We're going to go back to the dirty old days. Sewage releases are happening not just all around the coast but all across the country. There are or were laws protecting the sea and to know that it's happening everywhere in the UK. In 1976 we had the EU Water Directive which protected us and made the, the UK government keep that out there clean and improved it for us all. Um, we don't have that anymore. So when I was a kid, you know, you just didn't even think about it. Spending time in the water was joyous. But just recently they've, they've uh, relaxed the legislation. The government have pulled back on the legislation and have said to the water companies, yeah, you can go and release sewage, raw sewage, into the sea whenever you like. When at our local beach cleans we were finding increased sewage related debris and surfers were, were, were finding that they were getting sicker and we were, as sea swimmers, were finding that we were getting iller and sicker, um, that something's happening. I've had um, terrible stomach bugs, you know, knocking me out for days and days and days. And I, I work for the, in paediatric NHS, so, you know, I, I can't take time off. The EU have lovely, lovely clean beaches. Sure, they have some issues in some places when they have emergencies, but in comparison to the percentage of rivers and seawater um, clean beaches here, it, it's, it's vastly different. The reason why um, the government uh, relaxed legislation on, on releasing raw sewage into our sea is because they can't get the chemicals to treat the raw sewage to the water companies because there aren't enough lorry drivers. And the reason there aren't enough lorry drivers is because we don't allow foreign people to work in the country anymore. But because of Brexit, we don't have the chemicals. I mean, a lot of people will argue that it's not because of Brexit, but nowhere else has a problem with it apart from us. So I, you know, it's Brexit. I, I, I can't understand because I do so much to protect the environment as a person, knowing that our government won't protect the environment that so many of us rely on and love.
Well, it's going to ruin tourism. I mean, that, that's one of my main worries is I don't want to see my local shops and businesses going under because nobody wants to come and spend time here. You know, I, I don't want businesses like this one here to be affected, but sure, of course they're going to be. If people know that there's sewage out there, they're not going to swim in it. They're not going to want to bring their, you know, families down. In these dark times that we find ourselves in, it's all too easy to feel passive and disengaged and hopeless. But there is something you can do if you like the sound of a fearless, independent media outlet really trying to shine a light where the mainstream doesn't, then do sign up to Byline TV. You can hit the join button on YouTube or subscribe on Patreon. You can be part of driving meaningful change.